Hey guys, it's Vera, and today I am going to be opening up some Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions product. Now, I had previously done a video on the channel talking about the game itself and what it is, how it works, how the gameplay functions, but today, thank you to Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions for sending me the product. I am going to be opening up one of each of the campaign decks and five booster packs so you guys can see the contents, how the art looks, how the cards quality feels, and just the general of the game. I will also be doing a full in-depth review of the game soon enough so make sure to keep an eye out for that on the channel but let's get right into opening the product all right so we do have a couple of different things to open First of all, we have the campaign deck chaos, the campaign deck order, the campaign deck death, and the campaign deck destruction. So those are the four uh, campaign decks that are out currently, and we also do have five booster packs to open, which we will open in this video. So we are going to open all of this if you are looking to look at one specific deck the timestamps will be below and then after that we will open up all five of the booster packs at once so i'm going to go through the contents of all of them go through the cards that are in them just take a general feel for what the game is and let's just get right into it so we're going to start off with chaos i don't honestly know out of all of them which i'm more excited for i'd probably have to say the death or the chaos they both look very cool so let's read the back really quickly call your champions quest for chaos carve victory 38 card army ready to fight 13 card booster to grow your army in a chaos exclusive card it comes with a campaign mat health counters and detailed rule sheets and then it just says the website and complete your collection. So we're going to crack right into the chaos for the first one, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so let's remove the contents. There's a lot in here. These are jam-packed. All right, so starting off, we have the deck itself, and it also has the two uh, tokens or the counters with it. Looking at the back, the back looks pretty nice of that really quickly. We have the playmat which I will show a bigger picture of because this is a huge mat with all of the different with all of the different um, zones for the game but it is a very nice mat I mean the mat does look pretty solid it does look uh, like a decent board setup we do have the quick rule sheet which just does go upon the rules of the game champion cards blessing cards units spells abilities damage heals and removes and the unit the auric in the auric unit i mean there are quite a few different things in this quick rules which we can go over if we want to and we also get a booster pack so let's first get into the deck and then we can open up the booster pack and see what we can pull in it and we'll just go through this order through all of the decks so some pretty nice pretty sturdy uh just the the counters i mean they pop out really easy they're actually pretty sturdy for cardboard cutouts i mean some of them you get are pretty pretty flimsy but these are these are pretty nice i love the design on them by the way i think the designs on them are pretty nice Alright, so let's start right off the bat. You can see the corners, you can see the border, you know, the champion, the warrior, the name of it, its ability, but this one just has flavor text. And then you can see at the bottom the 001 out of 278 in the full set. And then you can see the 01 and then it says C for common. So Chaos Champion, Aspiring Deathbringer which has um, an ability of when the highlighted champion is disengaged, increase the damage from this champion's abilities by one. All right, interesting. Iridescent Horror, Bloodthirster of Unfettered Fury, Berserker Rage, which is a blessing and a passive. I believe all of these have a couple of different, yeah, they have a couple of different blessings in them. I know that, of course, um, fork the campaign decks because they're pretty basic just structure decks they do have a lot of different um, they do have a wide variety of what the game does feature for abilities and types of cards so that these are really newcomer friendly and you can really learn the mechanics of the game itself 
Chaos Rune Blade. That is one very gorgeous art. I really like that. That's very nice. Probably one of the better arts that I've seen so far out of the couple of cards that we've scrolled through. I mean, this is pretty nice too. One thing that really drew me to this game is just the flavor of the game and how pretty some of the arts are. Also, let's take a look really quick at the back like we had before. The back of the card looks very solid. Um, I kind of don't like the the website being on there. I feel like that kind of ruins it if it didn't have Power by Play Fusion or the website. I feel like it just looks so much cleaner. But altogether, the card looks very pretty. Um, the back of the card looks really nice. It's textured. Of course, the actual logo is textured. It's, it's really pretty overall. I really do like the back of this card. I really did like the back of Lightseeker as well, but I think that this looks a lot better and it really fits the Warhammer aesthetic that Warhammer usually has. So Outrage Carnage, Outrageous, so Outrageous Carnage, The Path of Skulls, Twisting Screamer, which is in the units, uh, another Twisting Screamer, an insatiable blood reaver, another insatiable blood reaver, gore slick skull reaper, another one, fanatical skull fiend, another one, pack of blood letters, another one, charging blood crusher, reckless juggernaut, fearless corgoraths, I think that's how you say it, that's quite a name, um, scorn of sorcery, Wow, that is really, really nice art. This this game just has such pretty and such colorful and such themed art to it. I love it. A second Scorn of sor Sorcery. A uh, Furious Strike. A Blood Feast. Another Blood Feast. Rejoice in Slaughter. Wow. Look at the- can we just appreciate that for a second? Look at the shading. Look at the texture and how just textured it looks. Wow, some real detail went into these cards, honestly, you guys. Oh, and we are in Uncommons now. Um, Infernal Gateway. This is a rare, and this is probably one of the nicest arts I think I've seen in any game in a long time. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pinks and the purples and the blues, the baby blues and the dark blues and the violets. Just look at his stance. That is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and it does appear that he does have some pretty big abilities um you guys can pause and read if you want i just wanted to go through the contents of the decks and then you can pause and read them if you want but i did just want to go over the decks themselves because this game is so new um gift of change tactical formation Blood Hunt, what an iconic name and for an iconic card like that. Another Blood Hunt, um, Mystic Shield, that is a spell. Um, opportunity Strike, another Opportunity Strike. Brutal Smash, Arcane Bolt, of course any game, any trading card game, whether it's new or old, always has to have some kind of bolt and this one is Arcane Bolt, I really like that name. Another Ar Arcane Bolt. And then these are the scan and share cards, uh, scan and share to unlock digital boosters. Um, and the back is normal. I think that you scan this itself. I'm not exactly sure. I think it works the same way as Light Seekers though. And then the Chaos Campaign Deck reference. And then it goes over some of the abilities that are in it. Um, keywords for the deck, deploy, disengaged, uh, heroic act, last stand, remove and rend. So yeah, that is the end of this um, campaign deck chaos, and we'll open up the booster pack that was in it really quickly. So you guys, feel free for all of these, or any of these, to pause and really take a look at the decks themselves. I will probably make more in-depth, detailed uh, videos for the decks themselves, but I did just want to make this a general overview of the lovely products that I was sent. So let's get into opening the booster pack now. Alright, so let's get into opening the booster pack that came with the Chaos deck and see if we can pull any upgrades for the deck itself. Booster packs feel really nice. Uh, they open pretty easily. Plastic on them feels nice. So let's do this. Alright, Lightning Strike. Another Strike card we had gone for the Arcane Bolt. This one is Lightning Strike. Oh, wow. 
I cannot get over how pretty the arts of this game are. Uh, these are all commons, so I'm guessing that they're in the proper order of commons, uncommons, and rares. I will assume. Fanatical Skull Fiend. Uh, scrying Pool. Blue Flame. Mob Rule. Another Blood Hunt. That was already in there, so maybe we could use more than the two that were in there. Uh, Divine Vengeance, which we are getting into the uncommons. Um, another uncommon, Gift of Change. Born from Blood. And this is a rare, it appears, and this is Infected Terrorgeist. And a Blood Reaver Chieftain, which is a champion. I believe all packs come with a champion, um, regardless of whatever the booster is. And a Morbid Terror, which is a blessing. Yeah, so they all come with one champion and one blessing. Very nice. And a foil, which is just a common, a Crypt Infernal Courtier. Courtier? Courtier. Uh, its ability is Heroic Act, one damage to your opponent. Not bad. Um, the foiling looks pretty, pretty nice. I really love- wow, look at how reflective that is. Oh my gosh. You can reflect anything off that. That is really reflective and really nice. Um, so I really wanted to talk about the card quality really quickly. The card quality is a little flimsy. Um, this was a problem that I did have with Light Seekers, but the way that I have to see it is it, it it's taking the more playing card approach, like a deck of playing cards. I do wish that the um, card quality was a little bit better, but I think that for the prices right now and how it is new, I do think that this is something that could be improved upon. But that is the end of the campaign deck chaos. Let's get into the next one. All right, you guys, so the next campaign deck that we are going to be opening up is Death. Of course, it comes with the same things as the other um, campaign deck, the chaos. All of these come with the same uh, basic things. All of, the, all of them come with the deck the booster pack, the exclusive card, the mats, the health counters, and the detailed rule sheet. And this is the front of the campaign deck. All right, so let's take out the contents of this just like the other one. Um, the deck is kind of in there solid. It is behind this little piece of cardboard, which maybe it's supposed to be in there, but it slipped out. Who knows? All right, so we get the deck, of course, with the two pop-outs. We do get the play mat. Um, pretty standard. It does also go through the phases of the game and how to actually play through the phases of the game. We do get the quick rules yet again. The objective of the game, the game components, champions, blessings, action cards, the basics of how to play the game. And we do also receive another booster pack. Alright, so the pop-outs are just skulls. Um, they do look like the actual campaign deck's sigil, just like the other one, so we'll pop these out really quickly. They do look nice. I do like them quite a bit. All right, Skeleton Champion. Another Skeleton Champion. Hungering Vampire Lord, that looks awesome. Um, Bloody Vampire Queen. Carrion Feast. Turmoil of Souls. Orb of Mortali Immortality. Orb of Immortality, why would we want to be mortals? Supernatural Horror. Murderous Vargas, Murderous Vargas again, Ravenous Crypt Ghoul, another, Feasting Vargas, another, Crypt Shield Black Knight, another, Freakish Crypt Horror, another, Frenzied Vargas, Zombie Dragon, Charging Black Knight, Cursed Strike, another Cursed Strike, Bloody Thirst, Soul Stealer, another Soul Stealer, Frightful Touch, Terrify, Tactical Formation, Devour, another Devour, Call of the Grave, Mystic Shield, there are a lot of similar ones between all four of these decks, I believe, um, like in the Chaos, we are seeing a couple cards that we have already seen. So they're obviously staples in the, um, the decks, or they're just really good cards for most new beginners to the game. Opportunity Strike, another Opportunity Strike, a Brutal Smash, an Arcane Bolt, 
another arcane bolt. And then we have our booster card to scan and share to unlock digital boosters. And then we have the deck keywords, which for the vampires are discard, dormant, heroic act, remove, rend, and rotate. A lot of the same similar ones. I believe the top two are always changing. Um, the last in the chaos were different, so these ones are different as well. And let's take a look at our booster pack that came in at this champion's campaign deck. So we have a Paladin Decimator, a Stomping Maw Crusher, a Frenzied Warbore, Warbore, such a, such a funny thing to say in combination, Gift of Sigmar, Freakish Crypt Horror, Auric Shield Bashers, and Into the Uncommons, Charging Black Knight, Blood for the Blood God. That is an amazing name for a card, especially with that art. That is super, super cool. Blood for the Blood God. I love that. Uh, Swift Namardi Reaver. And a Nagahash Supreme Lord of the Undead. I know that this card is very looked for. A lot of people really want to be able to play this card as their champion, so very happy that I pulled that, honestly. Um, he does look really cool, and it is a card that I think I would really want to play. Um, a massive Choppa War Boss, an Exalted Deathbringer, and for our foil, a Grot Shaman Spider Rider. What a name. Some of these have such names. Um, of course, the foiling on these is super nice. It's super pretty. It's more reflective um, than like a holographic, and I really, really like that. So that is cool. That that was a very good pack. Um, I think that this was def the um, Supreme Lord of the Undead was definitely a great pull to get as a rare. I'm very excited to see that I have a copy of that now. Um, I'll probably try to take a copy, uh, pull a copy of most of the cards in this game because I'm really looking forward to playing this game competitively. So I'm happy that I got that and let's move on to our next uh, campaign deck. All right, you guys, so the next one that we are moving to is the campaign deck order. I don't know why, but the corner of this one is a little messed up. I don't know if I did that. I don't think it came that way, so I must have accidentally dropped this. But the campaign deck order, of course, comes with all of these standard things like in the past campaign decks, and let's crack this one open. So the contents are the exact same. So, of course, we have the deck itself in the pop-out counters. We have the booster pack that comes with all of the campaign decks. We have the playmat that of course explains the phases of the game and the steps of the game and how to go through upon playing the game. And we get our quick rules book that just says the objectives, game components, cards, champions, blessings, action cards, and how to actually play the game. Alright, so we get the pop-outs of course with the sigils of the campaign decks order, which are pretty nice, pretty, pretty solid cardboard. And getting right into the deck itself, a Liberator Prime, a Knight Heraldor, Lord Relictor, I think that's how you say it, wow, look at that, that is amazing, Vandis Hammerhand, Swift Judgment, I can already tell I really love the flavor of this deck personally, um, I really just, I, I just, I'm feeling it so far with the arts and the names, a Divine Blast, Healing Storm, Storm Forge, and then it says Sigmar on it, which is the actual logo of this deck. So I'm going to assume that this is one of the main orders um, that's going to be followed throughout the story. I don't know exactly the story, but I am going to look up the lore of this game and really go through it for you guys because I have such high hopes for this game. A Disruptive Liberator, another Disruptive Liberator, a Long Strike Raptor, and another. A Paladin Decimator and another, a Paladin Protector and another, an Alpha Griff Charger and another, a Hurricane Raptor, a Star Drake. Wow, so this is the first beast that I'm actually seeing that's really caught my eye, and this absolutely looks breathtaking. I love the flavor so far. A Strike Force Liberator, a Piercing Shot, another Piercing Shot, 
a warding light again, a stand fast, a righteousness, a gift of Sigmar. We did previously see this. I think that we pulled this in a booster pack. Uh, tactical formation, another card that we have seen in the previous boosters, uh, the campaign decks, I mean. A triumphant smash, another. Restoring the forge. Wow. That is so detailed. Who is the artist? It doesn't say the artists on the cards, and that is so disappointing because whoever the artist of this is definitely deserves recognition and deserves to be recognized. A mystic shield, opportunity strike, another opportunity strike, a brutal smash, and an arcane bolt, and another arcane bolt, and then of course we get our booster card to scan and share to unlock digital boosters, and then the champion quest requirements, the deck keywords, deploy, discard, disengage, heroic act, remove, rend, and rotate, and these are actually all previous ones that we did see out of other, um, out of other campaign decks, these are not new ones, so that is perfectly fine, and let's get right into the booster pack. Alright, so let's crack our booster pack for this campaign deck open and see what we pull. Murderous Vargas, A Gaze of Mork, Fanatical Skull Fiend, Gift of Sigmar. Again, we've pulled a couple of these now. I definitely know that I have a playset out of the campaign decks and also out of the booster packs. Uh, Chaotic Restoration. Unholy Vitality. A Brutal Smash. And we are in the Uncommons now. Another Tactical Formation. Swift Namardi Reaver. And for a rare Fearless... How do I even say this? Korgoraths, a fearless Korgoraths. Actually, I already think that I had to say this once. Very on name. A rip tooth mega boss. A smash and bash. And for our foil holographic card, it is a grot boss. Wow. That is very pretty. And it is an uncommon. The past two boosters, we had pulled uh, common foils. But this one is an uncommon foil. Um, like I had said previously, I think that this is more of like a, like a mirror effect, not really a holographic. It's just so shiny and it's so pretty and it's just, it's very pretty. So let's get into our fourth and final campaign deck and then we can get into the booster packs. Alright, so this is the fourth and final campaign deck of what is released currently in Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions. This is the campaign deck Destruction. Of course, it comes with all of the basic items like the other campaign decks, so let's crack it open. Alright, so of course it comes with the campaign deck and the two uh, tokens for the deck, the sigil on it. We do, of course, get the playmat to explain the phases of the game and how to actually play the game and the layout of the game's board. We do get the quick rules guide on how to play, um, objective, game, components, cards, champions, blessings, actions, and how to actually just go upon playing the game itself. And we do get a booster pack that we will open at the end of the campaign deck. Alright, so we do get the two pop-out tokens, of course. An Auric Boss, another Auric Boss, a blown Bone Splitter Shaman, a Mega Boss on Maw Crusha, Renewed Warlust, Might of Gork, Smash and Bash, Ushering of the Wog, <laughs> what a funny name. Uh, Brute Smashes, another. Auric Shield Bashers, another. Uh, Auric Scrappers, another. Grot Slashes, another. Pouncing Wolf Rider, another. Crowded Wolf Chariot. Gore Chopper Brute. Stomping Maw Crusher, a card that we have previously seen. Mob Rule, another. Invigorating Chant, another. Call of War, Wog Ceremony, Reckless Inspiration, Tactical Formation, Deadly Chop, another. Rallying Cry, Mystic Shield, Opportunity Strike, another Opportunity Strike, actually. A Brutal Smash, 
Arcane Bolt. Of course, these have come in all of the other campaign decks so far from what I've noticed. A couple of these cards have actually. Um, another Arcane Bolt and our booster card scan and share to unlock digital boosters. And then the champion quest requirements, the deck keywords, which for this deck are Deploy, Dormant, Exhaust, Remove, Rend, Rotate, and Support. So a couple here that we actually haven't seen in previous campaign decks. So yeah. And finally, let's get into the booster pack for the J Destruction uh, campaign deck. All right, Insatiable Blood Reaver, Feast of Mork, Gore Slick Skull Reaper, Blood Feast. That is absolutely gorgeous. And for a common, oh my goodness, Storm Shield. Wow, another beautiful art. Uh, Twisting Screamer, Soul Feast. We're in uncommons now. A Wog Call, a Wog Call? I can't even say it properly. Reckless Inspiration. And for the rare, a Seeker of Souls, a Lochian Prince, a Cursling, and for our Foil Holographic Rare, we are getting an Arachnorok Spider. That thing is freaky. I definitely don't want to ever deal with that in real life. So that was our booster pack for the Campaign Deck Destruction. And now what we have to open for the rest of the video is we have five individual booster packs that I was sent. Um, besides, of course, the ones that come in the Campaign Decks. So let's open up these booster packs really quickly quickly and see what we can pull. Alright, so with the five boosters, I'm just going to go one by one and see what we can pull for my collection, see what we can pull to highlight out of the game itself. So getting right into the first one, some of these booster packs are honestly difficult to open. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> a Feasting Vargas, Call of the Grave, A Righteousness, Jaws of Death, Brute Smashes, Ravenous Crypt Ghoul, and Into the Uncommons, a Sanction, Big Stabba Crew, Restoring the Forge. I had pointed this out in the um, Order campaign deck, I believe it was. Whoever did this art definitely deserves some kind of reward because this is absolutely stunning. It's so detailed. The colors are all in point. It's absolutely gorgeous. A Celestial Prosecutor is the rare card out of out of this booster pack. Um, a Hell Knight. An Aspiring Deathbringer. And a Gordak Fist of Gork, another rare. And this one is actually our foil, which is amazing. We got a Champion Fist of Gork as our foiled card. I really like the foiling in this um, game. Like I have previously said, it's more of like a mirror type of uh, foil rather than a holographic foil. So that is really cool. If the highlighted champion is a wizard, increase this champion's damage done from abilities by two, and it contains the heroic act and the rotate all of your units to their final corner. This heroic act can only be used once per game. So that is a pretty good that is, that is pretty good. And then we, of course, get our booster card to skin and share to unlock digital boosters. And that is pretty awesome. I will also have to take a look at the actual digital part of this game. I have looked at it a little bit. I did download it, but I have not scanned anything in yet. So I guess this will be the perfect opportunity to test that. Getting right into the next booster pack, seeing what we can pull. Meat Shield Grotz, A Grave Call, Unholy Vitality, that is so amazing. Auric Scrappers, Long Strike Raptor, Putrid Puke, Wa Call, Reckless Inspiration, and we are in the Uncommons, A Capric Capricious Flamer, I can't say that properly, and our Rare is Slashing Screamer, we have another Hell Knight. I think we opened that last pack, didn't we? Um, and a Tides of Death. That has a lot of text. Uh, corner, one, draw, tap, card. So whatever the corner is, I believe. 
uh, corner to deploy up to, oh my gosh, this is a lot of text. Jeez. And then rotate highlighted units steps backwards. So it depends on what corner you're actually on, because if you're on one, it'll be one, two, two, X. And then our foiled card is a blessing healing storm. And this also has come in other uh, decks, I believe the order deck. So this will be really cool to swap out the non-foil for this actual foil. That looks absolutely pretty, you guys. Wow. Oh, unfortunately, this one actually has... Does it? No, never mind. I thought that it had some kind of small line like going through it, but it doesn't. It was just the way that the foiling was. That is really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So on to our third booster pack. Let's see what we can pull from this one. Feasting Vargas, Call of the Grave, A Righteousness, Jaws of Death, Brute Smashes, Ravenous Crypt Ghoul, Scatter the Forces. So a lot of these um, that we're pulling at this point are in the campaign decks. These are doubles of what we've already seen, but I'm perfectly fine with going through them still. Um, Mystic Shield, and another uncommon a Blood Warrior Berserker, and wow. Rare Frenzied Devotion. That looks really cool. Hello? Is that Kratos? Hello? Can I help you? <laughs> um, Blood Throne of Corn. A champion. Very nice. A Pennant of Sigmarin. Wow. Razor Shell Leviathan. I don't know how to particularly say that. Oh, and that is our, that is our foil for the pack. It is an uncommon, and that does look very nice. And then, of course, we have our booster card to scan and share to unlock digital boosters. Second to last pack. Let's see if we can pull anything in the close. We have gotten some really nice pulls so far out of this. Um, and I just want to focus again really quickly on the back of the cards. I think it looks gorgeous with the textured. Um, the text is, of course very reflective and the rest of it isn't. I really think the back of this card, um, the back of the cards just look really nice and really clean and they just look really good. They have that Warhammer feel to them. All right, so a Blood Hunt, Paladin Decimator, Freakish Crypt Horror, Storm Shield, Opportunity Strike, Gaze of a Mork, Surprising Skulkers, Gift of change in our rare is a celestial fate. Look at look at up to four cards from the top of your deck and draw one of them. You may then choose to either put the others back in the same order or shuffle the deck. Very good card, honestly. A Crypt Haunter Courtier. A Chaos Rune Blade. A Carrion Feast. And that is our that is that is our hollow for this pack. It does look really nice. This one's, I don't know why, but you have to really hold it at an angle like that. Um, otherwise, when you, oh, never mind. I was going to say, you can't really tell, but this one you could definitely tell. I just wasn't holding it properly. And this is, of course, a blessing and a passive. And then the booster card to scan and share to unlock digital boosters. In the last pack, I do want to say thank you so much for sending these to me. I've really enjoyed looking at this game so far. I am going to talk more in depth of how I enjoy the gameplay play in a different video, but I really loved the products. I think that the products are really good. I really like the mechanics of this game. I really love the arts of this game. I really love the feeling of this game and how it's going. So I have really high hopes for this game, you guys. And our last booster pack. Oh, I love cracking packs. So sad to see that we're at the very end of cracking packs. A storm shield, a twisting screamer, a devour. Wow. That's pretty. Putrid puke. A lot of green. A lot of green in this pack so far. A righteousness. A sweeping Namardi thrall. A big stab -a crew. Restoring the forge again. I think we have a play set of that at this point. A transmorgifying flamer. And our rare is a crowded wolf chariot. Wow. That is gorgeous. The black and white feel of this card. Imagine that in a holographic. That would be amazing. An auric boss. A cursed altar. Wow. Imagine that in a holographic as well. And a frenzied blood reaver. 
is our last pack out of all of the products that we got for Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And so you guys, that is the end of opening the products for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar um, Champions trading card game so far. So far, my thoughts on this game are very high. Like I had said at the beginning, if you have not seen my previous video on my initial thoughts and what Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions is, make sure to check that out. It will be linked in the description. But this is the end of the video. I did go through all of the campaign decks and all of the boosters that I've sent. Thank you again so much for sending these to me. Um, I'm really enjoying the game so far. I can't wait to actually fully test it and give a full-on review besides the actual review on the products that I just did. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I talk to you guys again really soon.